Hi everybody. So today I want to talk about the 1985 dystopian classic Brazil, which is directed by Terry Gilliam, who is most famous probably for his work with Monty Python. Um, the film stars Jonathan Price, uh, features Robert De Niro, Kim Grease, uh, Bob Hoskins, and a number of other recognizable actors, often in some smaller roles. Um, it's a movie that's been described as abstract, Kafka-esque, just plain weird and confusing. Um, and those could be accurate descriptions, I would say. Uh, originally, it was supposed to be titled 1984 and a half. Um, obviously, this is a nod to the Orwell novel. And maybe lesser known to the Fellini film, Eight and a Half. Um, it does bear a lot of similarities to the novel 1984. Uh, about an overbearing totalitarian government and using poor technology, really, to try to maintain an order and control. Uh, so the main character is Jonathan Price, and he's a low-level employee. Fantasizes about being a winged warrior, saving the damsel in distress, you know, just bored at work, basically. Um, and then through a chain of events, uh, basically a fly gets stuck in a typewriter, so this creates an error in the whole system. Um, and he's, our main character, Jonathan, played by John Price, gets tied into these, these events that unfold. Um, so it, it's, it's a very, it's a fantasy, it's science fiction. Um, it's a very visual film. I, I mean, Terry Gillian is uh, phenomenal at effects, you know, and practical effects too. Um, but this does sometimes detract maybe from the overall narrative, which makes it can make it a little harder to follow. <laughs> um, but it's it's an interesting work and an interesting film. Um, the style is though being in fe though featuring all the technology, it uses a lot of older architecture. People dress almost like it's the forties. So it really kind of makes it timeless, um, and it makes it interesting in today's society, thinking of our, the technology now that we have available. Um, so, I mean, I recommend you check it out. It's not everybody's taste, just a warning. <laughs> um, but it's available on Hoopla, um, and I hope you enjoy if you, if you choose to watch it. And I'll be back soon with maybe something completely different.